Hello. You may be wondering exactly what diabetes is. Well, my name is Sonia Wade, and I'm an assistant professor at Vanderbilt University School of Nursing and a family nurse practitioner. And if you've ever been wondering that question, what is diabetes, I would like to share that information with you. Diabetes can present itself in many different ways. There are two main types of diabetes. There's type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes is when the body's immune system, and that's the system that goes into action and fights against infections, but when, with type 1 diabetes, when your body starts to fight against itself, it recognizes cells called beta cells, which are made in your pancreas, that produce insulin, and those cells, your body recognizes those cells and begins to fight and destroy them. And when those beta cells, which produce insulin, that our bodies have to have in order to control the foods that we eat that produce sugar, when those cells are destroyed, then someone with type 1 diabetes is left with no insulin. And therefore, they would have to have insulin injections to treat type 1 diabetes. The other diabetes, type 2, is the most common form. It's seen in almost 90 to 95 percent of the population. Type 2 diabetes is when the body, those beta cells, do produce some insulin, but the insulin that they produce is not enough insulin to meet the needs of the body and the demands of the food and sugars, or the food that's turned to sugar when it enters the body. Or you may have a resistance with the insulin as it tries to smooth the outer edge of the cells so that the sugar can go inside the cell like it's supposed to. And that's the mechanism of the insulin to make the outer edge of the cell so that the sugar will move in. And so either one of those different mechanisms of the insulin in a type 2 diabetic is not working appropriately. And if that's the case, the individual will continue to make some insulin, but they also may require some supplemental oral diabetes medicines or after the disease has prog progressed for a while, they may also require some insulin as well to manage their diabetes. There's a third diabetes, which is called gestational diabetes, but that diabetes only occurs in pregnant women.